Praise the Lord, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV here coming to you live. I'm torn between two messages. I started to get another one, but I want to continue in part two of this, as I said yesterday. I want to entitle this The Law of Sight and Significance. Um, this is from my book, Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. And we will be soon having this uh, in reprint again. We are sold out. Thousands of copies of these were sold, uh, printed and sold uh, around the world. And and uh, I also planted them as seeds in some lives of some leaders and things like that. And um, they're gone. And they need, we need to go to reprint and we will be doing that. So look for that. I'm also going to make it an ebook. Let me say this right from the outset. Uh, any person that's sowing a seed, I trust it's a significant one. Uh, uh, you can get the benefits of excellence in an ebook format and also a new one. I have the laws of success. I also have this. So if you have the benefits of excellence, some people do. Uh, I also have the laws of success now available in an ebook version. And you can get that when you sow a love gift into the ministry. Uh, they are not for sale at this point. They are gifts to our partners who are supporting the ministry and sowing into this grace and this anointing. And I'm sending it back to you as my gift. So we're both sowing. Uh, you're sowing into the work and I'm sowing the word of God into you. Isn't that great? And I have a divine instruction about that. I want to do that for as long as we can. Of course, when they're printed, they'll be in stores, they'll be online, they'll be orderable, all of that. Of course, of course, of course. But um, if you're sewing direct into the work and I have your contact, you're in touch with me, I'm going to be able to get either one of those to you. The laws of success or... The benefits of excellence, your choice. In Jesus' name. I have another message uh, I, I want to uh, teach on. I don't feel it right now, but when I just read some of the contents of the message, it's, it's like very provoking to want to speak about, but I, I know I'll do that in another broadcast. But let me, let me uh, and I'm calling that uh, Things About the Office of the Prophet. Uh, the book is entitled, also this book was sold out and completely gone. Thousands of copies made and they're, they're sold out. We're also going to go to reprint with this. Uh, Supernatural Operations of Spiritual Conquest Through the Office of the Prophet. It's a long title. I tried to shorten it, but I couldn't get a witness on shortening it because this is what it's about. Supernatural. I know it's backwards on Facebook here. Supernatural operations of spiritual conquest through the office of the prophet. Let me just give you one. The office of the prophet comes to unseat evil rulers off their thrones and set new righteous leaders into positions of influence and power. The prophetic mantle exposes devils and turns out evil things that are hidden inside and around people. Oh, yes. Prophets are eye-openers. Prophets expose the folly and wickedness of men's hearts, but also shine light upon the great giftings God has packaged inside his people. You know, the prophetic anointing, it, it unfolds, it unveils, it creates. It's powerful. And, uh, ooh, am I going to do a... Uh, I told you, I'm in betwixt the two. Uh, prophets are sent by God This will be a double header. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get right back into the law of sight and significance. One second. Prophets are sent by God to expose and bring down workers of iniquity in the world and in the church. I know this sounds a bit rough, but it's true. The sword of the Lord is in the hands of the prophet. Now, but also we prophesy exhortation and the building up, hmm? the uncovering of new things for people to release the power of God upon people that they can flourish and shine and prosper. There's an anointing and a mantle for prosperity and grace and financial favor and empowerment upon my life and ministry. I'm telling you, for increase. And when you tap into this grace, money will begin to flow in your life in new ways. We carry that. So it's not just the sword, you know, chopping up devils. Uh, we we, we got to do that because who, who else is doing it? 
but it's also to bring forth beautiful manifestations of God in the lives of people, of his own people, for your success, for your breakthrough, for your prosperity, for your abundance, for your flourishing. In Jesus' name, I'm, I'm under such a strong anointing. I hope you can, if you're sensitive, you can feel it right now. He's here. He's here. Boy, I had a night. I was ministering on a broadcast last night, a, a global uh, online prophetic service with other servants of God. And uh, woo-wee, what a night that we had. And after that, I was wrestling the whole night in the spirit. You know, when God shows up in such power, you only get a part of it through the broadcast. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be frank with you about it. I'm not Frank, I'm Thomas, but you know what I mean? I'll tell you, honestly, the, what you catch by listening to the message and even a release is only part of it. I mean, the manifestation of God's power is amazing. And uh, what, what a night I had having dreams and in the spirit, just flowing. It just was just, woof. Anyway, sight, the, okay, prophetic keys of successful living. Here we go. Volume two on the law, or part two, part two, it's in a one. Part two on the law of sight and significance. I want to read these points to you and explain a few things. You see by revelation and understanding. You get revelation and understanding. But what you cannot see, you cannot have. But what you can see, you can have. The, the imagination in the mind is very powerful. Uh, the mind doesn't really know if it's real or not, when you're, uh, you know, seeing something, you know, you see something, the mind, like, it, 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 if it's reality, it, it, sees, it sees it as if it is reality. And we need to have it in our life, you know, like, what do you see? How do you see yourself? How do you see God? How do you see other people? How do you see situations? How do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Twice the Lord came and asked uh, two of his servants, uh, well, more than that, but two that I can uh, have, have recollection of right now, uh, and asked them questions, but he knew the answers. He asked Jeremiah, what do you see? Jeremiah said, I see the almond trees, uh, the almond tree. And God says, you have well seen, you have well seen, you know, you're seeing something growing. And uh, Adam, when Adam walked away from, you know, obedience there God said where are you God knew exactly where he was but he wanted Adam to locate himself he's also asking us the question now where are you my son my daughter where are you God we don't want to be in a bad place you know it's good when you get under anointing listen to me and you get stirred up you get stirred up provoked and you know an apostolic anointing will do that the prophetic anointing will do that. The prophetic fire will do that. And uh, the Lord is, um, is very zealous to help you get into the full place of where you're supposed to be. But you have to see it. You say, well, some people live like this. Let's observe this. Some people live like this. Some people live like this. Some people live... Higher, higher lives. Why? Because they saw something. They saw the fact and uh, that they were able to, to get there and have it. They saw that. And God wants you to see it. You know, until you see, you can't embark upon it. When you... Let me say something powerful here that I wrote in my book here. Yeah, insight... Seeing correctly, seeing correctly into the thing, out to a thing, into a thing, the whole thing, puts you in command of faith. I mean, to use your faith. You'll be able to start to use your faith to conquer, to birth new things, to have new things. God Almighty, I feel it. Here's another one. See it and you'll say it. But then when you say it, you'll see it. You get it? See it. And then you'll say it, but then when you say it, you'll see it come into manifestation. 
see it, say it, and then see it in manifestation. And this is the way that God works. Now, I had a a real powerful statement I want to make to you right now that I, I had I got from the Lord this morning. Here it is. Are you ready? Someone write on this chat, ready. Just say, yeah, I'm ready. The Lord spoke to me and he said this. He said, anyone in the world, whether they be secular or sinner or saint, when they have something and they achieve something and they attain to something, they saw it. Do you know why people live in poverty? Do you know why people live in prosperity? Because of what they're seeing with their mind and their imagination. You see the bigger thing that you can have and then you begin to go after it. And next thing you know, money begins to flow in your life. And then you have a new circle of friends and because you have other options. So you start to come in contact with higher things. And next thing you know, you stumble upon a life that you can have. You know, other things, higher level things that some people in the world have. You ever watch videos and you'll see like, oh, here's a mansion. It's $35 million in uh, somewhere. And they go through the house. It's 25,000 square feet and pools and gardens. And, and you're like, what? Can I even have a house like that? Can I live like that? And someone drives up in this advanced vehicle. I don't want to get all talking about cars now. But you know what I mean? Those, those certain cars that are on a higher level. Some of them, they could cost a million dollars. They're too small for me to fit into, so I'm not interested. I like luxury and comfort. I want a big vehicle, so give me a good one that's fast and big and comfortable. Fine. And we'll see if we can squeeze ourselves into some of those supercars and take a ride, but it's not very comfortable as a, as a daily driver, you know. And then they have those and they pull up on the tarmac to their private jet and then they're flying somewhere. Now, what happened to those people? They saw something. They went after something. They became successful in their business. They became successful in their life. And God is even for that. I want to tell you, God will even... Uh, he, he will even uh, reward his own servants with great economies. I want to prophesy to the body of Christ worldwide. We need to have our own economy. You need to have an economy of your own. Okay, and then you see these places like Italy and Greece and some places in Asia, maybe. Some places in the Middle East, like Dubai. You know, I don't know about the rest of them, but Dubai is okay shopping place very f welcoming to americans and people coming there to shop so they're pretty cool you know i know some other middle eastern countries are a little bit like i don't really foresee having a holiday in baghdad would you <laughs> or syria or somewhere like that that is very dangerous iraq or <laughs> syria where the land of the terrorists and war and death and murder and violence and insanity you know you don't want to but dubai is nice for shopping and you know sites little sightseeing the buildings they made are amazing you know and and going to great places enjoying the earth enjoying life enjoying all that god has afforded uh, to us you know god has afforded his great things to everyone just or unjust sinner or saint it, but it all goes back to what do you see? How do you see? What are you seeing? You can only go where you see yourself going. What you cannot see, you cannot have. Proverb, a proverb, a proverb, a, pro, a proverb, a wise saying. Uh, I don't see the, I don't have the author here of it. But many of those, many are those who look, but few are those who see. You can look and see something and go, oh, but when you see it, you, you like look into it on a, on a higher level. And God wants to set people free. I feel a, a, a wave of anointing coming. God wants to set people free of of like where they've been stuck in their life where they've been damaged in their life bad family upbringings problems betrayals situations setbacks you know god wants to just deliver you from all of that and he wants you to be like those that dream 
those that vision have vision, those that see, a visionary leader, a, a visionary person, a successful, successfully minded person, a success thinker, a wealth thinker, a, a treasure chest thinker, a, a, a pioneer, you know, kind of person to to open up new things because the Lord wants you to come into the realm of significance. Let me go into that. Wonders will be done through you if you give yourself to God's plan. That's in the book here on this. Some of the things about sight. One on sanctification. I like that. It's another S word. Sanctification isn't just a lifestyle issue. It's a change issue. It's a nature change issue, which involves being dipped deeper in God. <laughs> Man, when you get dipped in the Holy Ghost, your life becomes a sancti a sanctuary, a sanctity, a sanctified place. Whew. I feel the presence of God all over me. I'm sanctified. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm righteous. I'm I'm anointed. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. You know, this is the greatest way to be, I'm telling you in life. But your significance comes from your greatness. You have to be great first, and it comes from your uniqueness, not similarity to anybody else. It comes from your uniqueness. I wrote this about significance, a significant thing, a significant experience, a significant moment, a significant transaction, a significant uh, connection, a significant event, a significant meeting, a, si a significant conversation, a significant discussion. My God, I feel the anointing. Release it, fire. Fire upon your people in Jesus' name. God wants every one of you to have significance. <laughs> Glory. Here it is. I wrote this. If there's no point to it, there is no point to it. It's just like to see it and you will say it. Say it and you will see it. It sounds like the same thing, but no, it's two different realms. Seeing it in your mind... Saying it with your mouth will cause you to see it in manifestation. Brilliant use of words there, how the Holy Ghost gives me. If there's no point to it, there's no point to it. So get to the point. Doesn't it annoy, it irritates me a bit. I don't know if it irritates everybody else, but I don't have time for fluff and, and you know, like half half-witted things and, you know, get to the point. Make it poignant. Make it powerful. Give me the give me the substantive, you know, crux of the message. Give me the thing. Get, get to the bottom line. Get to the point. Let's go. Don't beat around the bush. You know, I don't know what that means. Running around in a or running around in a circle. Go in a straight line. Get to the point, and let's let's cause something to happen. Let the transaction happen in Jesus' name. God wants you to be specific. He doesn't want you to be a wandering generality. Wandering around, generally, jack of all trades, master of none. He wants you to be a meaningful, specific. What is it about your life in one word? Let's start with a paragraph. That's the beginner's level. Then you go to a sentence or two, two sentences. Then you go to one sentence. Then you go to a few words. Then you go to two words. Then you go to one word. When people think of you, what do they know you for? Many people say... God's prophet, like none other. Prophesied things over nations. God has used them, Thomas Martin the Fourth, to speak things in accuracy and detail, and they've come. I'm known for that. But I'm also a teacher. I'm also a pastor. And I'm teaching on the laws of success. I mean, in, in great, phenomenal ways. And this is also another point of significance. Boy, I'm just reminded in the spirit, but I'm so under the uh, hand under the hand of God. Whew. I I'm reminded of this uh, vision I had, where the Lord told me about the twofold anointing, like I was flowing in the prophetic. He said, "Yeah, but I've also made you a great teacher and great expositor of my word and truth, and millions of people are going to connect with that. They're going to receive from that. You're going to ment. It's been prophesied to me, even by others, that the Lord spoke that directly to me myself. What I just said." But it's been prophesied to me also by others that God would use me to mentor people all around the world, many multitudes of people that I wouldn't even meet. It'll be done by through media and online and all of that. And that's coming. And I want you all to be uh, praying with us and, you know, standing with us and partnering with us for the world mission, which also includes studio. Studio. Uh, we're going to set up everything in world-class excellence. 
and be broadcasting to the entire world via media. I'm very excited about it. We need some things to set all that up and that's in the works, but be a partner in that. And I believe God will also amplify your voice. And I believe the favor that's upon us will also come upon you. Favor will come upon you as you connect in this anointing. Sowing into it. Let God talk to you what he'd like you to do. I heard the Lord speak to me last night. It's very strange. I can't remember ever doing this. And I saw seven in the spirit come together with seven. And I saw the seven attributes of God, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, and the spirit of honor. You know, it talks about, that's in Isaiah 11 too. But in Revelation 5, 12, the Lord talked about honor and riches, okay? So like if you add them up, there's more than seven. But let's take the perfection of that, of God's, own attributes, and then he comes together to a life, his life over to your life, and you're believing him, you know, for perfection, for completion, for things to happen. And I saw that the seven and the seven come together, and the Lord said, I want you to sow that as a seed. Amazing. And I've decided to do it. I'm doing it today. Uh, I wanted to do one last night, but the technicals and the logistics and the time frame and zones and all that, I I'm doing it today, and I'm going to keep doing it. And I want to, and that's a new thing I'm hearing the Lord say right now. I want to challenge every one of you to do that. I believe in Kenya shillings to be seventy-seven hundred. So you might as well make it all seven, 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 seven. Uh, you can also sow like if you uh, can sow a little seed of seven, 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 which is a small seed, seven hundred and seventy-seven shillings. People will say, well, I don't want to sell 77. I have $777. You do that. Now, I know you might have heard this somewhere else, but I never, I never heard it. And I, don't, I didn't respond to any of that because I saw someone else that had a certain number. But the Lord gave this to me in an open vision last night while I was live on the broadcast. There was a worship song going, and there was like two words, the same word. And I saw a seven on one, a seven on the other. And they came together like this. And the Lord said, 77. He said, my attributes of glory, wisdom, knowledge. Well, you need this. Wisdom, not brilliance of the brilliance of God. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, the fear of the Lord. And, and I want to add another one, the spirit of honor from uh, Revelation 5.12. And there's a few others. There's riches also. So pick one of those and let's say there's seven, all right? These are attributes of God. Please understand me. His power coming together with your life hoping and believing for perfection, boom, together. And the Lord said to me, said to me, make it a seed. And he said, also challenge others. And I did then, and I'm doing it now, and I'll do it again. And now there's an overflow. I'm, I, I heard this last night. I saw it in an open vision. So for me, uh, I'm clear on this. You know, it's not like... Uh, it's a good idea. No, it's a God idea. It's a command from God. This will produce. And the Lord said favor. He said favor. The spirit of favor. The spirit of honor. Open doors. Financial abundance. Financial increase. Breakthroughs in economy for you. In, in um, your business. Your ministry. Your career. You believe in God for another job. Or promotion. Or for debts to be paid off. Cancel people to be good to you. Favor will bring that forth. You know, of almost 100%, 90-something percent of your prosperity is birthed on favor. Favor will produce miracles. And I saw that the spirit of favor. The Lord is on this. Thank you, Jesus. A special seed. When you sow, you'll reap. Your seed is the influence you have over your future. Your seed is the master that your future will obey. Your seed has to be comparable to the, desi the harvest you're desiring. A seed of nothing creates a season of nothing, but a seed of something good like this, what we're talking about, 77, 77, 777, 7,777, well, you know, in sevens, 
that perf- the perfection and the power of God will begin to come. When you let go of what's in your hand, it, you know, it doesn't leave your life. You don't give it away. You invest it. It's an investment. And God says, I'm going to bring a harvest back to you. The law of sowing and reaping will birth encouragement and hope and even a great harvest for you of financial windfalls, returns coming back to you. The anointing that you... Yes, Lord. And the anointing that you sow into is the anointing you'll receive from. I'm talking about the anointing of prosperity, abundance, increase, and favor. For your destiny life, your destiny help, your destiny connections. Things that God, only God can do for you. You know, there's some things that happen. I could weep thinking about it. Like this epidemic, this plandemic nonsense, demonic from hell. Mess the whole world up, economies up. There's only some things only God there's, there's some things that only God can do for you. You can't get your economy going quicker if you lost your job or your business. You know, whole companies are shutting down. JC Penney is closing stores. They may go totally out of business. Pier one, their furniture's chain, uh, four hundred and fifty stores, shutting down. All these other chains, they're going. They can't, they can't keep their things going because of this economic bust that came from the devil. Out of China, from the factory, from this thing planned. It, 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 it's horrible. And, and some th- things, you, you can't just wake up tomorrow and, and turn it all around. But you know, the Lord used me to prophesy the other day. And I did this in two volumes. Said, this lockdown will soon end. That's thus saith the Lord. And I saw it immediately like that. I did, I did the first one on Tuesday, volume one. And I did another one on Thursday, I think. Or, f- yeah. Or Friday, Friday. Yeah, for Tuesday and Friday. And t- now it's Sunday. The Sunday before Pentecost Sunday. Here we are. And the Lord said, the lockdown's being broken and the, the spirit of people begin to rise up over the world. They're saying, no more, no more. But look at South Africa. Look at Kenya. Look at places where there's this lockdown. But I prophesy it's being broken. It's going to end. But you need God. And things are opening. You know, so that was on Tuesday. I prophesied that. Wednesday, I went into a favorite place where I like to get coffee. And there were people sitting in all the tables. It was full. I was like, what? I didn't know. Just like that, within 24 hours of the word being released. Less, 12 hours later. Well, 14 hours later. Within the same half a day. The next, for the evening I did the broadcast, and then the next morning, they just decided to open up. There was no announcement in the news. There was no directive from anyone. It just was just like, when the people were coming, we, we've decided to open, come. The Lord touched them and made them do it. And it's been happening ever since. We're reading online. You're seeing it. Everywhere in the world, people are shouting against this thing, saying we can't stay locked down. No, our churches are going to open. President Trump then was touched, and he brought the, the newscast uh, the next day. This week, a couple of days after I released that word on Tuesday. And now it's all over the news. He says, now we've decided that uh, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm, I'm furious over this. The church is an essential service. And if the governors want to say the churches need to be locked down, I will override them and make sure they open. It's a movement going on. But then still, so the lockdown is ending. I prophesy again. I've told you what thus saith the Lord. And the creative power of the Holy Ghost came out through this vessel and this anointing and this oracle right here to declare it over the world. Now, it's happening. But you know what? Then after that, things need to be rebuilt and built up. So you need God to come in your life to create an economic oasis, an economic empire building thing, an economic advancement. You need God to come and give you, help you get money, get resources, get business, get your ministry going, flourishing, get your, your business flourishing, career, your job, whatever you need, you need God. And it's a time to sow, in the time of famine, to sow your way out of trouble. 
I don't say that because I'm on the receiving end of anything. I say this under the anointing. I, I tell you, if you're in the spirit, you can feel this right now. You feel me when I'm, what the, you feel the Lord here, what he's saying through me. Done. I'll pick this up again. Fa I feel the anointing to pray right now. Done with the teaching. Father, I thank you. According to Isaiah 48, 17, you said, I am the Lord your God who will teach you to profit. And I'll even use my profit to cause you to profit. P-R-O-P-H-E-T to help your, your P-R-O-F-I-T, your profit. And I release the grace and anointing upon people to prosper in Jesus' name. It's time to sow. A $77 seed, you could do it by card. You could do it on Cash App, on our Cash App and on our PayPal. It's paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. Cash App, uh, excuse me, Cash. The other one mostly is used in America. I don't know if it's so good internationally yet, but it should be. But PayPal is great for the whole world. Paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. Very simple. You go there. You're on my page. You put your details in there. If you have the PayPal account or you can just do by card, click, boom, it's in there. Also on thomasmanton.com, a dear partner just sowed a, a great seed uh, also after I had released that word. And it's very easy. There's a portal there to sow. You just hit uh, donate now. I think it has the click link there on thomasmanton.com. Boom, you're in. Put in your card details. You can do monthly recurring. You could do $77 a month or any other amount that God would be telling you or a one-time a one time gift. Now, if God is speaking to you something greater or a different amount, you obey him, whatever it is. And the best that you can do, do it. I love the three words that Jesus' mother said, just do it. Whatever he tells you to do, just do it. And on Cash App, it's cash.me forward sign dollar sign dr. Thomas Manton. It'll be on the screen here. It'll be in the notes on the, on the title and all that. I love you much. The law, the laws of sight and significance, the power of the prophetic office, supernatural operations of spiritual conquest through the office of the prophet. We're in it. We're flowing in it. It's touching the world. And if you need healing and deliverance right now, I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, Psalm 107, verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from destructions. I am prophesying over you for healing and deliverance right now and for your economy to come alive, for favor to come alive. As you connect with this grace and anointing, the Lord's going to do such great things for you. And I'm very excited in advance to hear of the miracles that will be coming. You can testify of those. Connect and do that now. The information is on the screen. I love you much. I'm praying for you. And we'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Much love from me, Dr. TM4, to you.